Hi, and welcome to the recording for the WYSIWYG table assignment. You can see that I'm clicked on that on the left-hand side over here. And actually, when I click on it and get into the assignment, this is the table assignment. And see that we're going to end up creating tables in our autobiography. I have the other two recordings created already, and they're posted in the announcements on the website. But what I want to do before we jump in to do this table work is let's just look at how to do tables. So I'm on Section 2, Part A. And if you remember from coding, tables are really hard. But in NVU, tables are easy. So I'm going to just go through these steps right here. And I'd like you to do it too. Either you can do it as I'm doing it, or you can do it on your own. But this is just a way to play with tables. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open NVU. And then we're going to make a table. And they're going to do some things to it. So here I am in NVU, and I'm going to click on Table, and I'm going to make a table like that. Now I have the table on my screen. Now if I double click on it, see my cursor's in a cell, but if I click on the Table tab, look at all the stuff I can do. I can add rows to this, so maybe I want five rows. And maybe I want a border on my table of, uh, and then I have to hit Apply. So there's five rows now. Look at the border on this. Do you see the border? Maybe want to make that border three pixels wide. Hit apply. See how thick the border is? Maybe I want to take that border out. Border zero. Hit apply. Now the border is gone. I'm going to go ahead and put it back at one. Spacing between cells. There's some things I can do. Table alignment. I can put the table to the left-hand side of the page. I can even put a background color in a table. I'll hit OK and apply. So you can see all the different things that one can do with tables. Same thing in cells. I could change colors of particular cells if I wanted to, but we're not going to do with that. So that's some of the things you can do with the table, just messing with it a little bit. Let's go back to the lesson and see what else it talked about. Uh, we looked at adding columns and rows. The width and height of the table you can mess with. Align the table. I showed you where that was. And then on cells, you can mess with cells. So just a few things that you can do with tables, just to give you an idea of how that can work. So first you're going to look at that. And then section two goes into looking at the source. So if we go back to our table, so right here, and down at the bottom, let's get view source. Now look, here's the source for this. And look right here, this creates the table, the background color for the table. This is the width of the table. Then right here, it starts making the table. So just to remind you of how coding is important in web design still. So if we go back to the course, they had us look at the source view just to see what things look like. And now we're going to actually do the work for this. So I need to go first go back to NVU. And I need to file, close that, so I don't save, so I close that out. So now I'm here in NVU, and I need to open up all of the pages that we were working on before. File, open file, and of course these are all my files. So I'm going to open up my baby file, then file, open file, open up my elementary file, then file, Open file, index file, file, open file, the now file, file, open file, preschool file, then finally file, open file, preteen file. So I have all five of my files open. I can look at them. So I have them all open. Then I go back to the directions, and we're going to make this table, and then we're going to we're going to make it in the index table, and then we're going to put our text into it, and then do that for all the pages, and then we zip the unit four folder and submit it. So let's look at this. What it's going to, this is what your ultimate page is going to look like. Actually, if I move down further, you'll see how that's going to look. So this is going to be your like your index page right here. So let's count this table. This table has one row, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. And then it has one column, 
and two columns. And these are all combined. In many ways you can do this, but eight rows, two columns. So let's go make that first. So I'm back in NVU, and we're told to work on the index page. So I'm on the index page, and I'm going to go out to the outside of it, and I'm going to click down below this text, because I want my table to be down below here. So we're going to do table. And this only lets you make six, but remember we can double-click on it, click on table, and we can make it eight rows, two columns, and hit apply. So there's our table to start. Now there's some things we want to change on it. If, we, if you remember looking at that, this actually is a little bit narrower like this. And I'm even going to bring this right-hand side in a little bit. So see what I've done with those? I've just adjusted them this way. You can adjust them any way you want, but this is probably more about the way that that web page is going to look, something similar to this. So I just kind of messed with that a little bit. Now let's go look at what we need to do to other changes we need to make to this table. First of all, the top cells all combine to be one row. So let's go back to our table, and I'm going to highlight those two things at the top. And then while I'm highlighting them, I right-click, and down below, Join Selected Cells. Do you see that? Join Selected Cells. Now look at that. The top is all one cell. That's what we want. Now let's go back to the directions. And now if we see this, we see that in rows 1 and 2, those things are combined. The, the right-hand cells are combined in rows, or rows 2 and 3. There's row 2, there's row 3. So let's go back to NVU. Here's row 2 and row 3, so we highlight those, right-click, and we want to join those cells. So see how they're all joined together? Then finally, let's look, and the last thing we want to do is the rest of this document on this side, it needs to be joined in itself. So I'll go back to NVU, so now all of these are going to be joined. I highlight them all, right-click, Join selected cells. So, see how I have this set up? This looks exactly like this picture, doesn't it? Now, next thing I do, once I create the table, is I need to put, so set up the table, and then I need to put my text in to the right places and put my links over here. So, let's go to NVU. Now, we've done all this work on the index page, and we haven't saved it yet. See that red thing? That means it's not saved, so I'll just hit Control-S, so now it's saved. So now I'm going to put stuff in here. I'm going to click Ron's autobiography, so I highlight that, click on it, and I'm going to drag it right in here. And I want that, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to make it centered. Right there is the centered text command. See that? So I centered it. Now right in this cell, I want my text. So I'm going to take my paragraph text, highlight it all, click on it again, drag it into here, and there's my paragraph text. Now I can go up here to the top, I'm going to delete a couple of these blank lines out of here, so now I'm right back to there. If you look at this table, it looks very similar to this one, doesn't it? As far as the way it's, it's set up. Of course, the border is going to be zero on our table. So let's go back to NVU. I'm going to double click on this, go to table, border zero, apply, OK. Now, even though the border isn't there, I can still see, I can still see the different cells, right? And if I go to preview, here's how my web page is going to look. But of course, when I have stuff typed in here and other things put in here, then it will uh, look fine. So let's go back to normal. So here we are. I better hit Control S to save. So I've done all of this. Now, the last thing I need to do, if I go right here, I need the links. So I have a today preteen, actually that's called now, preteen elementary preschool birth. So this is going to be now, preteen, elementary, uh, what else, what else did it have? Preschool and birth. And this wasn't birth, it was actually called baby. And for some reason, 
we didn't have the index page in there, so we're going to call that home because we want every page to be able to go back to the home page. So here's what you're going to set up. And you'll see that how this is going to work is eventually these will link to all these other pages. So now I have this table done and I could copy and, and now I have to take make a table just like this in baby, elementary, now, preschool, preteen. So all of those will end up having a table very similar to this. Now I've made these changes and index isn't saved, so I'll do Control S to get it saved. So I'm not going to do all of this for you, but you can see how I built this table right here. And then I've done all the work to it. I put my text in it, and this table looks very similar to what the assignment looks like. Except, of course, I don't have um, uh, I don't have the picture and the graphics. We're going to do that later. So you want your main table to look like this, and your other tables are going to look similar to this, with the, the specific information there at the top. So that should help you get all this stuff done very easily. And you can, uh, you can create all of your tables so they look similar to that in NVU. So you go to Baby, go down below the text there, and you'll put your table right down here. So remember, it's going to be Table. Once you make it, then you double-click. Go to Table. We want it to be 8 rows, 0 on the pixels. OK, and to do this stuff, we highlight that. Or actually, what we want to do before we do anything is drag this over a little bit. And ideally, what we'd want to do is if I go back to my index, see this top one up here, like these over here, that's 226. And this is 454, so 226, 454. So I'm going to go right here and make this 226. And make this 454. Now another thing one can do, and you can try this if you want to, I tried to copy these tables before and I was having trouble, so I'm going to do this. Uh, so you can try to copy that and paste it into the other ones, but like I said, I was having trouble with it. Now one thing you can do though, if I go back to my index one, the one I created, and I look at the source, I could copy all of that and paste it into the other ones in the source code, but that would you could probably mess things up. So I would just recommend that you just make all these individually. So we have this the right size, so now I'm going to highlight those. Right click, join the cells, and then of course I take these two and join these, so right click. Join the cells, then take all of these five down here, right click, join the cells, then I take my text, drop it to where it needs to be, and of course remember Ron has a baby, that needs to be centered, and then if I was you know, still working on this, I put more information in, and of course the whole thing would, would grow as I put more information in. And then over here, of course you're going to have all of your links. And don't make those links yet, just put those in as text for now. We'll create them as links later on. So your job is to get all of these tables done, and all of these similar to what I just did. So I've showed that to you twice, so get all those tables done. And then according to the directions, once you get that done, then you, you save all those pages in the Unit 4 folder. Then you go to the Unit 4 folder, right-click on it, zip it, and I showed you in the last recording how to zip. And you submit that Unit 4 folder. So that's the table work. Pretty easy to do, isn't it? 
So I'm going to hang up on this and uh, get it posted. I look forward to your work. Bye.